Yo, hey folks, how's it going? It's uh, Kevin, Big K Horror. And okay, I just kind of want to do a, a little ramble video um, about a movie I've been asked to review. And so um, here it goes. All right, uh, this is going to be a ramble about my feelings and thoughts on Rob Zombie's Halloween remake, his controversial remake from 2007. Okay, this will not entail anything regarding his Halloween 2, all right? Which, by the way, I am a fan of, and I do have a review video about that one. Anyway, but uh, we're going to just talk about the first one, his first Halloween. And um, let me first start off and preface by saying that I am a Rob Zombie fan. I'm a fan of his music. I'm a fan of his imagery. And I'm also a major fan of his films. Okay? I think the man has brought, um, brought something great to this past decade of horror. Uh, brought an old school vibe back to horror. Um, it, I think it, a lot of it... I'm not saying it's all because of him, but I think he helped kind of bring that back into the culture vernacular. Um, anyway, uh, I just think the man's all around great, and I love I love his movies. I'm even a huge fan of his newest Lords of Salem. Um, that's also because I'm a huge Euro horror fan, and that's me movies uh, that encompasses all the greatness about Euro horror films. And so, with all that said, I'm going to be talking about this film, which in, in all actuality, over House of Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, Halloween 2, and uh, Lords of Salem, this is my least favorite film of his. And But that's not to say that I think it's a horrible film, because I watch it a lot. And, I, I mean, I'll, I at least watch it once every year for Halloween, or during that October, and I'll also watch it one other time, usually during the spring or the summer. Okay, uh, when, I'm in my Rob, when I'm in my Rob Zombie fix mood, I, it all just... I, they, I, jump back and forth on each one of these. Okay, so anyway. Um, okay, the film about this one. Okay. Um, it's To break it down in easy terms, the, so I won't have to break this down, uh, it's two, I feel like this movie is two different movies. There's two different halves to this movie. There's the first half that Rob Zombie was, the, his complete, re, his own creation. It's it's his creation of Michael Myers' childhood and family life. And I think a lot, some of the stuff in it didn't work as far as like maybe this, some of the, the dialogue, whatever. But I think everything else did work. I loved it. I loved the first half of the movie, especially in the school. Not so much when he's getting bullied in the bathroom, but when the teacher or when the principal discovers all the dead cats in his book bag and calls his mom and the, him and uh, the mom and Dr. Sam, Sam Loomis meet in the office, the child psychologist, and Michael Meyer, uh, well, Mikey takes off running down the hallway and the title caption comes up. Like, uh, I loved all that. And I loved um, how he does go and follow the bully after school and kills him in the woods with that big, huge fucking stick. Like, I loved all of that. Um, I love the massacre toward, uh, like, the, ma the family massacre at, at the end, uh, you know, during uh, that night, at, you know, after his trick or treating and all that. I loved it. The only thing I did not like about this whole entire Front portion thing with his life and his home life was um, him having that mask early on because you know Rob Zombie did say he wanted things to connect a lot okay and I get that but um, I just remember when I saw the theater opening night like when he put the the, the sister of Judas boyfriend's mask on which is the iconic Michael Meyer mask and he starts stabbing Judith going down the hallway he looks like a kind of a ridiculous looking little bobblehead. Like, just, you know, a big little head with a little body and stuff, you know. And, and it just, it didn't look, it didn't translate well on film. Like, the idea of it did work. It just didn't look good on film. Um, I think they should have kept him in his, ma like, clown mask and everything. Because that really kind of took a lot of people out of the, ele the, the element of what was going on in the scene. Because I remember people in the theater were laughing. And I was like, wait, this is not supposed to be funny. So, but, you know, one of those things, oh, well, we fucking whoop. All right. So, um... I love the first half of this movie. I think I think it works. Now, some of the stuff in the san when that, the middle part of the movie where it's the sanitarium stuff, um, some of it I liked some of it, and some of it you know was interesting. But once you see it like five times, some of it you're just kind of like, okay, no. But I mean, I liked a lot of the sanitarium stuff, especially you know um, I, I liked the first scene with him and Doctor Loomis, and I liked the scene where uh, his mom comes to visit him last before he stabs that one real mean nurse. You know, played by Sybil Danning uh, in the throat, and she dies. Uh, all that was great. Um, um, and then also getting into this, we have to also say that there's several different versions of this movie. There's, well, of course, this uh, director's uh, cut, but there's also a work print cut, and there's also the theatrical cut. Okay, so everything I'm going to point out which things I liked and from which, uh, not so much from all the versions, but 
I won't point out the things I liked and which version they were from. Um, uh, I have to say, as far as the escape sequence, um, I only saw the theatrical one, one uh, well, I saw actually several, I saw the movie several times, but I only saw it during that month when it first came out, like October, September of 2007, so I haven't seen it since, so I don't really remember much about his escape. Um, with a lot of the people from The Devil's Rejects and their cameos and that scene as officers transporting him. However, I do, I honestly did like the, although I, I don't, I'm not a fan of rape in films, I wasn't so much a fan of that part, part but I liked how it was an uh, unfortunate situation that occurred that as how Michael escaped. He saw a window opportunity and took it, and that's often how these things happen. Anyhow, so, um, anyhow, uh... Going on to the second half. Now, there's things in the second half I like, but more of a stylistic kind of level, not so much the content itself, if that makes any bit of sense. Like, um, I feel like the second half was just a too quick breakneck pace version of the 78 present second half of the John Carpenter set of film from the 1978. Like, it was the Laurie Strode portion told beat by beat by beat, but just so fast, you really didn't get to know the characters too well. The three girls were kind of dense in this one, you know, because, I mean, I'm a big fan of the original three, and they were great. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like the three in this one as well. However, you know, we swapped out, you know, witty, cool dialogue from the original, then talking about, you know, uh, you know, um, inspecting uncharted territory in the bathroom, males, men's bathrooms, or, you know, to talking more about, like, oh, hey, slut, what's up, bitch, you know, so I was just kind of like, ah, but then again, I guess that's how kids probably talk nowadays, I don't know, um, so there's that, the three girls, the element of the three girls just quite wasn't there, um, that, so that was a big disappointment for me, honestly. Um, also, I, but I did like the, the Dr. Loomis in this version. I did. I thought he did a good job in, in this one. Um, also, um, I liked a lot of the, in the work print, there's a lot of stock scenes that didn't make it to the theatrical print or the DVD print. Well, some of it's actually in this print, but I mean, some of them it's not. But uh, there's just a lot of stocking scenes of him following Laurie around and whatnot. And there's a scene in the work print where... Uh, where they uh, find the missing headstone, and there's like a, a, a crucifix, like or there's a sticks, with, there's like there's like sticks, you know, tied together with a dead, I guess, a dead cat or something tied up to it like this, and that was a very jarring visual. Like there was a lot of weird, uh, archaic, like Sam Hain, Sam Wynn, you know, like like Im like Im dark imagery that refers to Halloween and. Fest festivals or practices, like little things like that sprinkled throughout, and I like that, um, that was another touch I liked, um, but the second half for me was just kind of like it, and the ending that was in theaters and in the final version, uh, it just, with the, with her running around in the, in between walls or the attic or wherever it was, all I know is just a lot of wood and a lot of wood being broken, um, that I, that I remember getting kind of tired in the theater the night I saw that, and I remember like, why am I yawning or getting tired, you know? Um, I, th I felt like it kind of went on a little too long, you know, they, it would just, it kind of got a little pushed a little too far, um, but however, I will say this, the very fucking last shot where, uh, uh Lori on top of Michael's body with the gun and shoots him and all the blood splatters her, and she's just blood caked and screaming, like, that was, to me, was awesome, like, I was like, yes, that is, that is Rob Zombie's Lori Strode, that is Rob Zombie's Lori Strode right there, like, so that's how it was for me, um, but uh, I will say this, I like Lori, for me, Lori, I understood her better in the Halloween 2, the, the Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, because, you know, that was an interesting post-trauma story, and, you know, I, um, you know, being a post-trauma person myself, like, I just, there's a lot of things I could identify with, with her on that, but I also like a lot of things in part 2, um, that, because it was something different, you know, it was not the same 8, 9 Halloween films we got prior, and I appreciated that. Anyhow, so, but I know a lot of people didn't like part two, but I'm not one of those people. I loved it. Um, but this one, I mean, it wore, those things that he threw to the wall that kind of stuck, and the things that didn't stick. But uh, one other thing I want to talk about this, the imagery, the, 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 the imagery in this movie were fucking grand. Like, also, like, one small thing I want to say, I love the fact that Linda, he kept her a cheerleader, but he put a fucking Slayer shirt on her. Now, that was awesome. I love that. Now, that, to me, was like a Rob Zombie version of Linda. All right, anyway, I, I digress. Uh, the soundtrack, like, the soundtrack to me in this movie, I loved. Now, some sure some songs sure sure probably a little displaced maybe some people but I loved it I thought the whole thing gave me the essence of the 70s and the same flow and feel throughout the whole entire movie like I, I like the soundtrack to this film and as well as uh, I love the soundtrack to the second film and I love the soundtracks to all of his other films as I've mentioned before anyway um 
Yeah, so there are a lot of things that worked about this. I liked a lot of the, the, the imagery in it, the, the modern or the, the new take of imagery from the old scenes that were modernized in this one. Um, I mean, right down to the style of what people are wearing, the, the, the things going on, the greediness, you know, the imagery, the, just the, the, the eye candy of it, you know? Um, I enjoyed all that, and, uh, but I enjoyed the first half of the film better when Mikey Myers was, like, going around the stalking around the woods and killing people with sticks and shit. I loved it. That was awesome. But anyway, so that's, that's pretty much how I feel about this Halloween. I still enjoy it. I still watch it to get my Rob Zombie fix on Halloween. However, um, I have to say that it's a film where I feel like it's two different halves of a film that don't quite meet, you know? But you know what? He did, uh, he did good with me on Halloween 2, and I'm a big fan of his Lords of Salem. Uh, anyway, so that's all I gotta say. Is that, that, that was my take on the Halloween remake, you know? So, that's just my opinion, but I still enjoy the hell out of it. So, that, 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 that says something. Anyhow, uh, peace out.